off memory. A far off memory that's like a scattered dream. I want to line the pieces up. A far off memory that's like a scattered dream. Yours and mine. I've been having these weird thoughts lately. Good to see you, Cloud. Like, is any of this for real or not? What about this planet? Mm? Uh, weird thoughts. They can like take me. your world. Cloud. They can take your heart. Weird thoughts. Cut you loose from all you know. Cloud. But if it's your fate, he'll come back. Well. Huh? Cloud. Let's go. Mm. He said that he would. That's up to you, Cloud. Then every step forward will always be a step closer to home. I want to line the pieces up. Yours and mine. It's like she said, wait here and Cloud will come back. Cloud! Take your heart. Take your heart. What is that? You die to watch. Like, is any of this? For I want to line the pieces up. Or not. Every step forward Yours will and always be a step closer to home. I'm back. Right. Everything looks good on my end. Does everything sound? Yeah, I think we're good. All right. Hello everyone, my name is Cloud, and we are continuing with Elder Souls. I think we beat about maybe four or five bosses last time we played. So we're just going to continue on. I don't remember any of the controls. This is kind of a mechanics heavy game, all things considered. Remember that? I have my dash. This definitely feels like one of those games I should probably um, read a little bit before I jump back into it. How can I see... No, there's like a... not a tour... okay, game tips right here. First one. We'll just start here. Um, skill tree, I already know about that. Trigger base fighting style. Okay. I know that. I vaguely know that. Um, light attack by pressing the attack button. 
or charge attack by holding the attack button. Now, I know there's like a health healing mechanic, and I'm... That's why we're reading right now. Um, charge attacks deal more damage the more you hold the button. When you hit a charge attack, you increase your bloodthirst gauge. The more you charge your bloodthirst... Um, okay, cool. Powerful buff. It's activated with the charge attack. Dash, you're invulnerable. Um, okay. Okay, I guess that's everything, technically speaking. I feel like there's a lot of stuff that wasn't mentioned right there, but, you know. Who am I to really say or judge? Ignition key. Well, there is one boss I know I haven't beaten, and I'm pretty sure he's this way. Uh, I'm not looking forward to this. This boss was just a pain. <laughs> that being said, it's probably a good place to um, quickly get reacclimated with the game. What? Is clutching an amulet of Saint Roland in its frozen hands. He not hit any of these ice cubes. Probably drown in there. I'm just going to be very careful. Awake at last. I'm what your kind, call, ugh, your kind calls the frigid father. I've kept watch over the world since its crystallization. You've done well to seek us. The world is sick, decaying. Soon, old ones and the children of men will perish alike, evil and righteous, guilty and innocent. Everything and everyone will fade and decay. We ought to prevent this. We ought to preserve. <clears throat> okay. My power is fledgling. Whilst I sleep, the younglings have siphoned much of my power. To, th to think I thought of him as my successor once... You ought to find a way to siphon Hyam's power and return to me what was once mine. That seems like a trap. Nope, can't break it. Well, this should be a n no. This is the boss I've been fighting.
Okay. There's something I'm not activating, and I don't remember how to activate it. That's the problem. Activate LT. Ouch! That seemed very hard to dodge. I can't move. I got him halfway. I got him halfway. That's something. I'm trying to be aggressive, but at the same time, being aggressive is getting me killed. Wow, I am so close to dying already, and I can't move. You're out of dash, there's just nothing you can do in that situation. How am I so low on health? I thought I was doing really good this time, to be honest. That's the thing that kind of ticks me off more than anything about this fight. Alright. 
You know what? We're just gonna take our time. Focus on not getting hit very much. That hurt. What? How? I don't understand how I was low on health. That's the thing. Yeah, I got greedy. I got greedy that fight. I hate those attacks so much. And why am I not gaining anything back? Well, I'm back at full. I'm dead. I almost had him though. I got him low. No. I had it. 
but then I lost it. Oh, that shouldn't have hit! Whoa, okay. I don't even know what hit me. I don't, I know what that attack is, I don't know what triggers it. I couldn't get out the way. No, I didn't want to give up. God dang it. Really unfortunate on my part, but it's okay. I think this is the run right here. Yep. Whew. We did it. screen here we go she should have got something new every fourth charge attack grants you the in cold blood buff your next attack's damage is amplified with plus 70 percent that's pretty good Causing you to gain plus 100% of your blood burst bar. 
versus what I have right there. Slash forward with icy speed, dealing 25 damage. The shard can be reactivated for 2.5 seconds. No stamina for dodge. Don't tell me I didn't have any of this equipped. Around that last fight. No, I definitely did, because they um they were dropping shards and stuff, so I know something was working. Um let me see what this looks like. Berserker slash activation now only consumes 70% of a berserker fang. However, it also only deals 70% of the damage. Having at least three stacks of furious causes your blood burst to become world breaker. Stronger version that requires no blood thirst and causes two fragments to be created instead of one, but it also removes furious buff. Well, we beat that dude. Oh. Okay. Well, that's new. I've never had to, like, traverse anything like that. I'm going to talk to the skeleton guy real quick. Also, let me check this out. Hunter's Charm. Also, let me go up here. There's a lot of stuff. Use of sunflower, sunfire butterfly. Talk to Mr. Art Player. What's the token? He never gave- it didn't say he gave me anything. Apparently I have to dash onto that. Also, what's this door about? What is this area? Okay, this is where I came from originally. Where is it? Because there's no... Oh, there's no crystal here. I'm... It looks the same. This has got to be the same area, but... Why is the teleporter crystal not here? I want to explore, but this place seems so freaking huge.
I couldn't decide. I couldn't decide. Oh, this is bad. Really? I gotta say, I'm not the biggest fan of this area. Is this a dead end? Okay, that's pretty clear where I need to go. Ah, I couldn't get out of my spot. I wasted so much stamina. I can't just tank attacks like that. This guy's kind of tough.
up, James? How you doing? Low-key got me killed, but it's okay. How you doing? <laughs> How was, um, was that your first Elden Ring stream? Jamerica HP1 and nine friends have joined the race. Welcome, Raiders. Whew. Okay, let me actually get read. Let me actually read some stuff. What happened? How did you get bought? And I can't even see what happened. Oh, it's... That's weird. That's weird. I'm sorry about that, Thug. You're allowed to use caps as long as I'm here. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway... What's up, Thug? What's up, Trunks? What's up, Duck? Got everybody in here. But how'd Elden Ring go? I'm actually very curious. Um, debating whether I'm going to stream that game or not still. It's been an ongoing thing. Playing this game, it's hard as balls. Gotta destroy the crystals. Alright, I'm gonna read some. <laughs> he trolled us into thinking he was new. Especially with the gargoyles. Um, let's see. He was holding back his true power. <laughs> uh. That's one crystal. Okay, I guess we're back to the regularly scheduled fight right here. He's got three of those now. That's kind of problematic. That was dumb. Oh well. Got a little bit of, a little bit of Fall Guys training right here. Shout out to anybody that recognizes this mini game. Dude is really close to going down. I think this might be the run. Side of me doing something real dumb. Let's go. Okay. Now I can actually concentrate on you guys. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Got a raid and run, bud. Have a great rest of your team. Thank you for the raid, and um, hope you have a good night. Hope Elden Ring is going as good as Elden Ring can go. What in the world happened here? Thank you guys for the GGs. So, this game's called Eldest Souls. It's... Let's see. Where do I start? These guys made a game called Titan Souls back in... I'd like to say 2014, 2015. And... It's kind of a boss rush game where it's not technically a boss rush game because you're not literally getting transported from one boss to another. 
But it's an overworld. There are no actual regular enemies. You're just fighting bosses. There's skill trees. There's a complete progression. The interesting thing is every boss you beat gives you a shard. And each shard has a different property depending on if it's like your Lightbringer, your um, Blood Burst, your Charge Attack, or your Dash. So I'm going to have to look through all of these real quick just to see what the new one get, um, gets me. Yes, this is, in my opinion, this seems harder than Titan Souls. I didn't have that much of an issue with Titan Souls. But this one is giving me some real struggles here and there. Um, using dash through attacks instantly causes you to teleport forward and deal 25 damage. Um, every fourth charge attack deals plus 20% damage and causes you to instantly teleport back to your original position. Huh. Interesting. Activating Blood Burst leaves a copy of you behind. Um, activating Blood Burst while outside Blood Thirst causes... I didn't even know you could activate it outside of Blood Thirst. Um, you to instantly teleport to a copy. Okay. And... Slow-moving orb of darkness is launched forward, pulsating and dealing 5 damage to the enemies nearby. Shard can be reactivated within 4.5 seconds. The one thing I... I shouldn't say the one thing I dislike about this game, but... One thing that I don't like about this game is it's very, very technical. So everything's like, this is on a 4.5 cooldown, and this does this much damage, and this AoE. And that's not to say that that type of stuff doesn't have a place here, but... It's a little bit... Too much nuance for a game that is allegedly about five hours long. So, um... Let's see. Charge can be reactivated versus... What do I have right now? Torn of Pure Light dealing seven damage six times over 1.8 sec... Look at how many... There's four numbers in this description of this single thing. Um, taking damage causes the copy to instantly shatter. Hmm. That seems incredibly dangerous. I don't think I'd like that. So what we're going to do... I'm going to try this. I also got another skill point. Infusing a ball shard in the slot reveals its hidden power. Hitting with World Breaker causes all Fury Fragments to gain unique properties. When a Fury Fragment is collected, a cross of Pure Light is created, dealing 20 damage and gaining plus 50% speed for 2 seconds. Like, who's going to remember that in the heat of battles? For real. It's, it's too much information. That being said, I'm really enjoying this game. Also, how's everybody's Tuesday going? We might be able to open this door. Let's go. Okay, that's progress. Um, before we make actual progress... I think there's a um, blacksmith that might be worth visiting. And it's not even a traditional blacksmith in the Dark Souls sense, but I think at random points throughout the game he can upgrade your equipment. Seems like you're not short of coin. Guess I don't have whatever I need to upgrade. All right. Hmm. 
Also, I have no clue how to actually, um... Apparently I have three weapons, but I can't equip them for real. I don't understand what I need to do to do this. Lola with the hot take redeem. Um, okay. Lola, give me a topic. Do you want it gaming? Do you want it food? Do you want it something else? Music? I don't know. Also, how you doing, Lola? Let's do food. Okay. Food, 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 food. This might be a cop-out because it's technically not a t hot take, but I am curious. Did anybody else receive a blank receipt from Burger King in the past um, 24 hours or so? Because apparently that was a thing. <laughs> Also, I'll go ahead and say that Burger King, this is my hot take, Burger King is the worst burger from the fast food chains. Like, I wouldn't even entertain an argument for anything else being the worst burger, to be honest. I don't eat Burger King. Well, apparently, apparently, they had some type of email promotion snafu thing where they just sent everybody a blank receipt, and I immediately went to, like, my credit card app just to make sure I didn't get a fraudulent charge or anything like I thought somebody stole my card for a good like five minutes after it happened yeah it was really messed up had me freaked out I literally started sweating over Burger King and the thing is I don't often get Burger King I signed up for um, I guess it was during the pandemic I signed up for BurgerKing.com or whatever so I could get half off of an order once because they were offering free delivery. And that's how they get you. And they had my email information for the rest of all time until I died. Isn't that kind of sad when you think about it that like your email address is going to be sent spam? Probably decades, potentially like centuries. <laughs> After you die, that, that was a little bit of a dark take, but um, just a little food for thought. Things that go on in Cloud's mind. Ooh, end times. Just got a um, very timely achievement. Reach the steps of ascension. That kind of implies that that might be last boss territory, so let's go the other way. Yeah, it's, it's one of those weird things, and... Like... This is a little bit, like, I guess... Personal, but... Like, my mom passed... Two years ago at this point. And just seeing, like... I remember... The weeks afterwards... Like, she was still getting text... Like... Most of her friends knew not to text her phone, but then you'd get, like, spam calls and, like, what's it called? Like, are you going to vote this way texts and stuff like that. And it's just a weird thing. <laughs> but it's going to happen to everybody, so it's... Race trader or foil his and foil his plans? No matter the cost. This might be the last boss. If so, I will come up with something else to stream. Because trust me, I have a ton of games I want to get to. I have a document on my computer with at least 20, I'd say. 20 potential games to stream. And I actively have plans for like 
I'd say five to ten of those. So I kind of know my next, pretty much through, I'd say October, November, I know exactly what I'm probably going to be streaming. I'm sure that made it... Yeah, it's one of those things where, like, it sucks, but you realize, like, when you take a step back from it, it's not bad-intentioned or, you know, they had no way of knowing. And, you know, to companies, you're just kind of a number, so... And they literally don't have the information to tell you, you know. <laughs> or you don't have the information to tell them, like, hey, this person's gone. Stop emailing this address. This is an interesting fight. Yeah, imagine... I mean, that's kind of like YouTube, though. You hear about so many, like, YouTube stars passing and stuff. There was one maybe, like, a month or two ago. That died of cancer. It was a kid, and I think it was... I think he was famous for Roblox. I'm pretty sure it was Roblox. And his content's up there. I mean, same thing with, um, I don't even remember what Total Biscuit did, but he was also kind of in that same boat where he got cancer. And, you know, like, your legacy lives on. It's just weird. It was Minecraft? Okay. I remember hearing about it, and I don't play those games too often. Or at all, to be honest, but... Oh! You know what? This is taking properties from a couple different bosses... ...and combining them into one. Almost there. Okay. Well, that was something we did it. At least phase one we did. Okay, they're stealing all my shards. So I'm gonna need to get those back. Please? Maybe not. I kinda panicked. We have to do the whole thing. I was, I was worried about it, but I also kind of expected it. Like I said, I think we're fighting the final boss, so.
So I'm a little confused as to what it's doing right now. I thought it was taking my shards, but I still have my buffs. So it's not quite that simple. Phase three. I think I just gotta beat it before it beats me. Whew. I just trust, trusted my instincts there and I was like, this seems like a DPS check. <laughs> How much damage can I do to it before it um, picks me out? balance be restored as the world is restored in turn well there you have it eldest souls that did not take as long as i expected we haven't even been streaming for an hour so huh i have an idea as some of you know it's probably most of you know i play a lot of video games off the of stream and instead of starting one of the games I'm going to um, do a full playthrough on stream. How about I just um, play one of the games I'm just playing to the side. It's not going to make much sense, but um, it'll be fun. It'll be a fun stream. I'm here to entertain anyway. Let me make sure that Steam has my newest save sync because I'm playing it on my Steam Deck first and foremost, but... We'll play it on the PC and see how it works out. BRB. Steam Cloud at Sync. It's a very good thing. I decided to check. So it's uploading to Steam Cloud. Steam Cloud is up to date. Alright. While credits play out, I'm going to go ahead and start the install for the game I'm thinking about. Let me make sure there's nothing else on my computer that I really want to start tonight. Let me see how big of an install this is going to be. It's more than like 15 gigs. We'll figure out something else to do. Ooh, it's 21 gigs. Fortunately, fortunately, I got that fiber internet. Installed D. Actually, you know what? Let's install it to C drive because that's my SSD, and it should theoretically download a little bit faster. <laughs> 